Andre Wellington, big coach. <laughs> Hi, Welly. Hi, the, the crew is proud of you. Congratulations, bro, bro. So, Welly, you are a champs legend. I mean, you can't get rid of that title because of what you would have done while competing. When did you know you can coach? Well, it was from, uh, from the stage when I decided to retire from the whole track and field. I went back to Kingston College too with the intention to give back. And then I realized that I knew more than, more than I thought. And then with that, I started to read more. I started to ask more questions. And then this is the energy. Did it ever cross your mind that you would have gone to this stage of life where you have coached a record-breaking moment, uh, athlete running sub-10 at champs? I mean, the aim is always to go all the way once you put your foot in something. So yes, my intention was to go all the way. Hence why I read a lot and ask a lot of questions. So people will say, why? Look good now as a coach, Ray, Ray, Ray. What are some of the bigger objectives? Maybe not for the rest of the year or next year, but future thinking for Andre Wellington. What more would you want for yourself? For me, when you look at it holistically, right now track and field is a hobby. I wouldn't mind wetting my foot some more in the world, check and feel the world, probably taking it on a professional level. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And, and you, you, when you look at all the athletes are doing, not just from your school, the boys and the sprinting, um, the, the, you think the boys and the men are coming along nicely? Uh, I love it, I love it. I mean, every year the, the competition improves. I mean, you're running 10 one, 4 and getting a silver medal that is ridiculous i mean you have to run nine to get a gold medal last night so i mean the, the future is bright for jamaica is just so you have another career outside of coaching uh what would make you take up coaching full-time as long as i can cover my bills you know what i mean and have a nice <laughs> I don't want to choosing your words carefully. Yeah, choosing my words carefully. Let's just say I have a young family and you know they are first so I have to make sure so they are okay. So in order to go all the way in this, I mean I would have to have a strong background and a, a nice foundation before I mean that's it. Yeah. So you have now coached a, a sub ten athlete. Um based on the projection of your class three and class four the youngsters are just as important more in the making on the well andre wellington and the kingston college tutelage definitely that is always the aim you know. the aim for the sky i mean them say the sky is the limit but i don't believe the sky is the limit you know. the sky is just a reference point so the aim is beyond the sky, you know. and finally um you you're doing it out of mere love uh, when you look at the youngsters, the young boys, just in general, uh, mentorship at this stage for a lot of teenagers, how important is that to you? Well, I hold that in the highest regard because if it wasn't for, for the mentorship, if it wasn't for the guidance from Kingston College, I wouldn't be here today and I feel obligated to give back and help a youth. Each one help us. 